Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can publish our DHT11 sensor data from Node MCU to our Modbus TCP server. So any of our Modbus TCP client can read that data. Okay. Now in this video, we want to read that data in Ignition SCADA. Okay. So what configuration we have to make in Ignition SCADA to read that data, we will see that in this video. So you can see in modescan 32 which is our Modbus TCP client, I am getting temperature and humidity data here. Okay. So I want same data in Ignition SCADA. So let disconnect this and we will minimize this one. We will open our Ignition configuration homepage and then we will scroll down and then we will go to device connection. We will open that link in a new tab. Okay, so now we will create a new Modbus TCP device to connect with our node MCU device. Okay, so we will click on create new device. Now our node MCU is acting as a Modbus TCP server. So that is why we have to choose Modbus TCP driver to connect. So we will press next. Now my device is my node MCU. Okay and uh, no description for it now host name we can copy host name from here okay so host name is our ip address 192.168.23.46 so i have pasted it here now port number is 502 now press on create new device okay so you can see our node mcu device which is modbus tcp type and it is true enable true and status is connected so we are connected with our node mcu edge device now we want to read temperature and humidity data so that is why we have to click on more and we have to go to addresses and then here we have to add a new row so let me give a prefix as dht11 starting address one ending address two because we want to read only two variable temperature and humidity now my unit id is one and i want to read holding register and mode by starting address is one as per our arduino code uh, as you can see here temperature is at 40001 and humidity is at 40002 you can also see that in our mode scan software temperature is uh, available at 40001 and humidity is available at 40002 so we have to use here one okay so it will read from 40001 and 40002 so we will save this and then we will open our opc quick client and then we will expand our ignition opc us server devices we have a node mcu device with the unit id 1 and a dht 11 sensor and let me read the temperature here so temperature is 29 all good and let me read humidity now so it is 41 okay so we are able to read temperature and humidity from our node mcu device okay now we want this value in our ignition designer okay so we can design our screen and we can show to our customer or we can make our project based on that so let me open designer designer launcher okay let me connect to my gateway so open designer Okay, now we have to enter username and password for our ignition gateway. So username and password. Now we will open our test project. Okay, so we have opened our test project. Now let me go to our vision section and uh, windows we don't have any windows i guess now let me create one test window and press on create okay now we have a test window 
Now, what we want is we want to represent those sensor value in our screen, SCADA screen. Okay, so now we have to add our OPC tag in this tag browser. So we have to browse devices and then ignition OPC US server devices, node MCU, and we have to uh, import this two tag here. Okay, so it is okay. Okay, so DHT 11, this is my temperature. So DHT 11 temperature and this one is humidity. So DHT 11 humidity. Now I can represent this value in my screen. So let me grab the thermometer. Okay, now we can drag and drop this tag to here. Okay, so our thermometer is up and running and is it, it is working fine. Now for humidity, we will take some LED display. Okay, so we can see the value of humidity here. Now we can save the project and we can also launch this project by pressing F11. So it will launch our project in full screen mode. So we have to enter our credential here. So admin and password. Okay, so as you can see, our Node MCU device is up and running and publishing data to Modbus TCP server. And we are getting that data in our ignition SCADA. Now, if I disconnect my Node MCU from uh, power supply, then you can see no light is blinking and here also you can see the error that Ignition SCADA don't have any data and now if I go to my Chrome browser and if I go to our device page you can see Ignition SCADA is trying to connect with Node MCU but our Node MCU is offline so that is why it is not able to connect with our Node MCU. Let me plug uh, again. You can see disconnected and now it is trying to connect again. Now my node mcu device is booting up and you can see here it is connected and now we can launch our project and our values are getting updated so this is how you can publish your dht11 sensor value from node mcu to modbus tcp device and you can read those values in our ignition scada and you can also read those values in other scada as well which support the modbus protocol okay you can found code for your node mcu in the description of this video i'll paste the blog link as well as our github repository so you can go there and download the code so i hope everything is clear in this video how we can connect our node mcu with ignition scada over the mode based protocol now if you have any doubt any question or any concern then you can contact me on the telegram you can email me or you can directly put a comment on my videos so we will see you in the next video with a new update and till then take care goodbye and thank you